Hey everybody and welcome to class. Uh, what we'll be doing now is we'll be working on more, excuse me, more idioms, more idioms. Uh, where we last left off is the S idioms, savvy, schmooze, shoot the breeze, and different things like that. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do right now though is I'm going to show you how to get reservations, okay? So let me just give me one second here, okay? Okay, let me show you here. The first thing you need to do is just go to verbling.com forward slash get dash reservations, okay? So once you go here, you're able to upgrade to a premium account, all right? So you can have unlimited, um, unlimited reservations. You can invite friends. There's a video you can watch. You can also connect with Facebook. And you can also like Verbling on Facebook. All right? So those are various things that you can do. Also, too, if you need to get a hold of me, you can get a hold of me here in the Lingo Center. Okay? It's my Facebook page dedicated to Verbling. And also, too, you can follow me on Verbling. So if you follow me on Verbling, it's going to keep up with a lot of classes and a lot of information with what's going on with me, okay? So, again, this class is going to be on idioms, all right? It's going to be just a nice, really smooth, easy class. You'll learn some new vocabulary be able to practice a few idioms as well. Hi, Victor. How are you, Victor? Hey, Brett. It's hey. Morning. Yeah. Hey, it's is it late for you right now? What time is it? Here in Mexico, it's 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. So good. So good. Just uh, you couldn't sleep or you're just getting in your English, just working hard on your English. Is that what you're doing or you couldn't sleep? No, you know what? Uh, I'm trying to every day to catching up new things about English. Mm -hmm. So yep. this time is class. Okay, good, good, good. It is amazing though, Victor, how much uh, how much you can how much your English can improve when you're able to speak like this all the time, isn't it? You know, it's pretty uh, pretty neat how it can work out. So so good. Well, good. You know, I always like having you in my classes, Victor. So, welcome to another class. Um, Eric. Hi, Eric. Hello. Oh, thanks. Thanks, oh, Brett. You're, you're welcome, Victor. You're welcome. Hey, Eric, how are you? I'm good. Are you? Oh, I'm doing really well. Doing really well. So, welcome to class, Eric. Okay, and Young Thank Caesar. You. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hi, Young Caesar. Young Caesar, hello. Yes, yes, I'm here. Yes, yes, okay. And how are you? So you, you jumped in my last class, sir. That's good. Where are you from, Young Caesar? 
Yeah, I'm from Mongolia. Mon you have to be kidding me, really. Wow, that's <laughs> excellent. That's excellent. I never went to Mongolia. I've been to Tibet, and I lived in China for four years, but I never made it up to Mongolia, you know? Oh. But good. Very good. Very nice. So um, are you a descendant of Genghis Khan? <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure? Okay. So good. Oh, somebody's phone. Hi. Hello, Mom. How are you? Okay. All right, there you go, Eric. Grab your phone. Hey, Mom. He's talking to his mom, I can tell. What, Mom? Mom, I'm trying to learn English, Mom. I need to leave now, okay? But uh, anyway, so nice to meet you, young Caesar. So very good. And um, young Caesar, it's okay, Eric. It's all right. These things happen, okay? As long as you mute yourself, it's fine. Okay, so young Caesar, have you been taking many classes here on Verbling? Mm, no. No? Was that your no. first class the last time? Was that your uh, first yes, class? Yes. Uh, yesterday I uh, met the teacher, Leon, the British teacher. Mm, mm, okay. Yeah, okay. I was at his class. Mm -hmm. do, you like, do you like teachers that are from... They have a British accent, or do you like teachers that have an American accent? And I won't be offended. Which one do you like better? Do you uh, like a, do you like American accent or British accent? I would prefer American accent. Mm -hmm. American accent. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. Good. Wow. What's wrong with the split screen? Hmm. Okay. Let's try another one. Here we go. Yep, and make sure you guys don't have your uh, phones next to your computer, okay? All right. Okay, let's see if this works this time. Okay, good. Good that we can Hello, do how are you, Fred? Up, please. Hi, hey, Mon. Hi, Mon. Good, how are you? Thank you. Mm -hmm. good, good, good. Yeah, I was just trying to get things set up here, Mon. So that's why I didn't uh, didn't respond because, to you right away. Because you know the teacher before you, Oakley, teacher Oakley, he yeah. was having a problem with the sound setting. Mm-hmm. Yep. So because yeah. he haven't got his uh, mic fixed. Yeah, I because he doesn't have a. Yeah, he doesn't have his mic fixed. No, mine's working okay. Earlier today, there were a little bit of issues. It was going a little slow. So, hey, young Caesar, make sure that you pull your phone away from your computer, okay? So, Got it. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so let's uh, let's get class started. I know some people are going to join a little later. Those of you that want to know the class page, I put this information underneath the class, okay? I put it in the class page, but just in case, just in case you need... Um, just in case you need a little bit more, okay? Or pardon me, just in case you didn't get it, here it is, okay? Okay, so good, so good. So let's go with the first one here. Young Caesar, can you read this one here? Can you read this word? The first one? Mm-hmm. Uh, savvy. Okay, go ahead, savvy. read this whole. Mm -hmm. Savvy, knowledgeable about. If you're having problems with your hard disk, talk to Jim. He's very computer savvy. Okay. Yep. Computer savvy. So you can be savvy um, about other things as well, okay? All right, computer savvy. Uh, you can be savvy about love. It's anything where you're knowledgeable about something, okay? So that's where you're smart about something, so savvy, savvy, okay? And uh, Victor, how about the next one, schmooze? Schmooze, make your lads. Schmooze? schmooze? Casual conversation. Schmooze. Schmooze. Mm -hmm. schmooze. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Is it Schmooze. correct? Uh, I know how to. Yeah, hey, man. Hey, man. Um, let, 
Yeah, give give Victor a chance first, okay, Mon? Go ahead, Victor. Go ahead oh, and read that. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Uh, it's Chmoose. Made for that yeah, and read, uh, read the conversation to Victor. No, we weren't talking about anything important. We were just schmoozing. Could you repeat the the um, the pronunciation, please? Mm -hmm. See, I saw so schmooze, schmooze. Mm -hmm. So schmoozing, smooths. Okay. I'm sorry, is it possible to put uh, ING out AD? Uh, yeah, because it, is, it, is it possible schmoozed with an ED? Mm -hmm. Yep, you can put an ED because it's a verb, okay? So it's a verb. So uh, we have been schmoozing all day. She, was, she schmoozed me yesterday. Okay, I'm going to schmooze him. Okay. Is it uh, possible to use it in uh, formal conversation? In formal conversation, yeah, you can use it in formal conversation. Mm -hmm. um, well, I mean, it is an idiom, so you really uh, actually, yeah, you want to leave it out because it's an idiom. Um, uh, yeah, I would leave it out just because it is an idiom. So you kind of have to be careful with things. Me relax. Mm -hmm. yep. Do we need to put uh, two? Um, uh, no. You look here. We were just schmoozing. Okay. So are you talking about uh, I was schmoozing her? You know. So it's not possible to say we were just to schmooze. To schmooze. No, you don't say we're just to schmooze. You know, we were schmoozing. I was schmoozing him. I was schmoozing them. She it was just mean to make him relax, right? Sorry. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. So a lot of times, too, when you schmooze somebody, some people will schmoo their, uh, schmooze their boss as well. Mm -hmm. And like Oslam says, chew the fat. Chew the fat is another thing that's similar to it. Okay, but chew it's the fat. Right. Yeah, chew the fat is just it's kind of yeah. Anyway, chew the fat's a little <laughs> bit different than this. Okay, so smoozing, smoozing, yeah, making relaxed candle. Ah, uh, yeah, chew chew the fat is similar to. Okay, but like smoozing, uh, you also smooze your boss if you want to raise as well. Okay, this is more. Shoot the breeze is similar to chew the fat. It's more similar to this. Go ahead, Mon. Can you read this? Sorry, what? Mm -hmm. Can you read the next Sh one? Shoot the breeze. Uh, shoot in breeze. Mm -hmm. uh, make relax. Uh, uh, casual uh, conversation. Mm -hmm. No, well, we weren't talking about anything comporting. We were just shooting the breeze. The breeze. Mm -hmm. Oh, shooting the breeze. Can you can you shoot the breeze? Is it actually you know what a breeze is? No. So a breeze is wind. Okay, breeze. Wind. Mm -hmm. Yep. So this is a breeze. So it's wind. Uh -oh. Oh, wind. I never know. It's called wind. Uh, mm -hmm. Breeze. Well, well, yeah, you have a, a breeze is a gentle blowing wind. It's a gentle blowing wind is a breeze. Okay, so breeze is a gentle wind. So if you shoot the breeze, can you actually shoot? Like if you shot a gun, could you ever hit the breeze? Not really, right? So that's where you just shoot no. the breeze. Like you're just playing around. It's really not really doing anything at all. Okay. Is it English? Is it English word? Breeze? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep, breeze. Mm -hmm. yep. Because I know in English you have, uh, like in Arabic, we have uh, from another language. Oh, so like Turkish. Yeah, where is its origin? I'm sorry. So 
English, I mean, there's very, you know, English, we get most of our stuff from somewhere else, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know that. So, yeah. so if you want to look at its origin, we can look at its origin right here. Let's see. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Dutch. Dutch. Oh. Okay. Right. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And yeah, most most of our um, most of our words come from somewhere else, or a lot, a lot of words come from somewhere else. Okay. Okay. So good. Young Caesar, the next one. <clears throat> Sleep on it. Take at least a day to think about something before making a decision. The job that you're offering me sounds really good, but I'd like to sleep on it before giving you my final decision. Mm -hmm. Yep. So sleep on it just means to, to give it some time, okay? Just to give it some time to think it over, you know? Okay. Any questions? By the way, guys, if you have any uh, questions, you stop. I'm sorry. Uh, it's. Can I ask uh, one question? Yes. Go ahead. Um, it's in Wikipedia. It's called a gentle to moderate wind. One of the meaning of may refer to. Uh, for for what for what word? A gentle to moderate wind. Yeah, breeze. Mm -hmm. Yep. Is it correct? Yep. Yeah. Like I was saying, it's just a light breeze. Okay, it's a gentle, or it's a light wind. It's a gentle wind. That's a breeze. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And, and one of the best things is when you get a summer breeze. Okay. There's a breeze during the summertime that always feels really good. Okay. okay. All right, Victor. Victor, this next one here, a snap. Hmm. I snap something that's very easy to do. It's your it's your it's your job difficult. No, actually it's a snap. In fact it's so easy that's a little bit boring. Mm hmm Yeah, so this is something that's really easy, okay? Not hard at all. Victor, is learning English a snap? I think it's a snap. You think learning English is a snap? So yeah, I, I, it depends on the person, but you want to be careful kind of calling it a snap. But you're, you're doing well, okay? But yeah, I think it just takes time, but it's a little bit of a snap. Do you think that yes. learning, you think learning Chinese is a snap? Not, not, not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> not a chance at all, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. So something that's where are you from? Victor, go ahead. Mm, excuse me. Where are you from? I'm from Mexico. Uh huh. I thought you are Chinese. With his accent, you thought he was Chinese. No, because he said about uh, China, so I thought maybe he's Chinese. Uh, no, no, no. I was just talking about you know learning Chinese as opposed to learning that. Um, learning that. Yeah. No. Yeah, he's from uh, he's from Mexico, and he comes from this famous oh, zapata. Okay. Famous zapata line. This was one of the famous revolutionaries. In, uh, Who is in he? This is uh, Zapata. He's uh, he's one of the famous revolutionaries in, in Mexico. Okay, and this is one of the to me this is one of the best expressions ever. Okay, and my dad taught me this, and it's just a really good expression. It's better to die on your feet than live on your knees. Okay, that was his idea. All right, it's better to die on your feet than live on your knees. But uh, unfortunately, he was betrayed later on. But he was very important, uh, very historical figure. Okay. Who killed him? Um, I think just the government ended up killing him. What happened is they tricked him. Um, what they do, Victor? They tricked him into coming in or something like that. 
<clears throat> what did you mean? Yeah, so Zapata, how did they finally capture him? He, he was betrayed mm. and murdered, right? He was betrayed by one of the government's uh, killers, gunmen, when he was arriving to uh, um, Hacienda for for singing a, a deal that was a trick. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Is that what you were looking for, or? I understand. Yeah, no, no, that's that's what we're asking about because he asked about where you're from. You're from Mexico, and, and I was telling him that you're from the uh, Zapata bloodline. So, okay, so let's uh, let's continue on here. So, Mon, go ahead, Mon. Read the next one here. Um. <clears throat> uh. Someone made his. Her on that now lets him her lie in it. Is this correct? Yep. Yep. And then someone caused. Someone caused. It's okay. Go ahead. Keep reading it. Oh, okay. His her own problem. He she will have to solve them himself herself. Jim upset everyone when he get angry at the meeting. Can we do anything to make the situation better? No, he made his own bed. Now let's let him lie in it. Mm -hmm. Oops. This is correct. Oh yeah, yeah. I was saying oops for me. So this is this is where you make your bed. Okay. So they say you made your bed. My, hey, sorry, one second. Juan Jose, long time no see. Good, good. Juan Jose is here with his dog. Hello, teacher. Hey. Hey. I was very busy. Yeah, no oh. problem. No problem. No problem. You know, you know, you know, poker is killing me. <laughs> Are you having fun at it? Hmm. Uh, I, uh, it's more important than English, but <laughs> I can say I I lose more than win. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure you I'm sure you'll win it back, or you'll win it back in your mind. So e either way. So so Juan, then I guess we could use this expression, right? Okay. So okay. if you if you lose all your own money. We can say, well, Juan made his own bed. Now let him lie in it, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good to see you, Juan. Good to see you. Good. Good. Thank you. And then uh, this one here, Juan. Can you see? Uh, I'll give you the link in case you can't see it on the screen. Yes. And hey, young Caesar, young Caesar, make sure that you pull. The phone away from the computer, okay? Keep the phone away from the computer, all right? Uh -huh. um, go ahead, Juan. Is that your phone, Juan? No. No, okay. Oh, not Mon, Juan. Juan. Oh. Yeah. So, so go ahead, Juan. Can you see this on the screen? Hey, this. I have the link. Make your own bed a bit. Yeah, so no, we're, we're done with that one. Juan's going to go to the next one. He's pulling up the link right now, so it might take him a little time to get to it. And then he'll be there. And sooner or later. Mm -hmm. Yep. Eventually, you have been working too hard for too long. If you don't relax a little, sooner or later, you are going to get sick. Mm -hmm. Yep. So eventually, eventually it's going to happen. Eventually. eventually it will happen. Yeah. So something's going to happen. So if you keep studying English, sooner or later you will be fluent. Okay? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh, but that's okay. <laughs> there, there's also an expression we say, sooner rather than later. Okay? And the reason we say sooner rather than later is if you want something now. 
basically say, oh, well, when can that be done? Uh, sooner rather than later is another way. But sooner or later, sooner or later is just eventually. Eventually. Okay? I will change the order, later or than sooner. <laughs> you, yeah, you'd rather like it later than sooner? Especially if you know somebody some gambling debts. <laughs> so, let's see here. Um, okay, young Caesar. Hey, young Caesar. Yeah. Okay, next one, sort of. Sort of. Rather, somewhat. I think I write down a feel. Okay. I think I write down a feel sort of easy. Mm -hmm. Yep, sort of. So again, in this sentence here, like it says rather, I feel rather dizzy. Okay. Sort of. Do you like her? Sort of. Okay. Did you did you win last night at the poker tables? Sort of. Okay. So there's different ways to use sort of. Okay. It's, it's similar to it's similar to more or less. Um, más o menos. Um, yes. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, okay. But yeah, let's see. I just I don't I don't. Yeah, because it's more or less. It's rather somewhat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, because it, yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely más o menos. Okay. Because in Spanish, uh, especie de make no sense. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's más o menos. Exactly. Like, más o menos. <laughs> más o menos. Más o menos mareado. I feel sort of dizzy. Más o menos mareado, sí. Mm, okay, got it, got it. Yep, so that's that's what that is then. Okay, and let's see here. So Victor. Hi, Victor. Hey. So and it's one. So-so. Hmm? So -so. Fair, not particularly good. How are you doing? So-so, I've been better, better. But I'd be also being worse. Yep. So 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 like only okay, you know. It's you know not not really um not good, you know, and not really bad. Just kind of like so so. You can also just say that facing you know, around. What's that? Just facing around the the music. I'm sorry. Say that one more time, so I can hear that. Just facing the music? Um, no, so so wouldn't be like facing the music. So if you're facing the music, all right? So facing the music means that you did something wrong and you have to you have to deal with it. You know, facing the music, right? So 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 just means that, you know, hey, you're not um you're not you're not bad, you're not you're not good, okay? You just kind of like so so. It's not really that great of a uh, great of a condition to be in. Okay, so that's so okay. so. All right, let me uh, give me one second here. I want to fix something. Sorry, guys. One one more second here. Uh, it won't switch to it. Okay, no problem. Okay, so let's uh, let's just continue on. You guys have some music or something in the background. Try to turn it off or just mute yourself when you're not speaking, okay? So, Mon, Mon, state of the art, state of the art. Hello, Mon. Can can you guys still hear me? Yes, yes, yes. We can hear you. Yes, teacher. Hey, Mon. Hey, Mon. What's what's up? Mon, did you go out for a drink or something? Oi, Mon, bad guy. Okay, so <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, Juan. State of the art, please. State of the art. Using the the latest uh, technology, the company is very proud of the equipment, this computer room. It's the state of the art. Mm -hmm. yep. So state of the art. So like if you have a state of the art car, it's like a really modern, you know, nice automobile. So yeah, so state of the art, anything with using the latest technology. 
So you could probably even have state of the art um, blender. See what a state of the art blender looks like. Okay, well, I guess it looks like any other blender then. But here's more like a state of the art blender. Okay, all right. Okay. There is a, a teacher another definition, another word for for that. Uh, something cutting it. Um, sometimes, sometimes you want to say that you have like the latest model. Okay, it's very similar to it. You know, like if you have the latest model of something. Okay. But uh, something rated with it. Let me write. Oh, on the edge. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. On cutting the edge. edge. Oh. Cutting edge. Yep, cutting edge. Mm -hmm. Cutting it. Very good. Yep. Thank you. So, yep. And then we'll also even have cutting edge. See how, see how cutting edge technology comes out? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, cutting edge technology. Okay. All right. So, cutting edge. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right, let's see the next one here. So, okay, El Sadig's gone. Hey, Mon, what's going on, Mon? You gone? By the way, you guys, if you're going to leave for a little bit, just uh, just let me know. Okay, that's all you got to do. All right? So we'll just knock him out of class for now. He'll get back in. So, Young Caesar, Young Caesar, next one here, step on it. Step on it. Hurry up. Step on it. The taxi will be here at any time and you're not even dressed. Mm hmm Okay. So that means to go faster. Do you know you know why they have step on it? It's you it's usually only when you're in a car, okay? They don't say it many other times. Do you know why they say step on it, young Caesar? Mm, in the movies the Bad guys tell step on it, or the police say step on it. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is because of the gas pedal or the accelerator in a car. So they say step on it, which means like, you know, push down real hard. Okay? So to step on it, to make it go faster. Okay? All right, now we're on T in case you guys want to see this. Okay? All right, so good, 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 okay. Here we are, and this is kind of like this class. Victor, Victor, this here, take it easy. Relax. I don't have any special vacation plans. I'm just going to take it easy. Yeah, just take it easy. Just sit back, relax. Kind of like this polar bear, huh? He's a... Uh, He's pretty relaxed, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Quite relaxed. Yeah. So a lot of a lot of people say, uh, you know, take it take it easy, do not take it so seriously, just things like that, you know. Just kind of like relax. And also two people say chill out. Okay, just chill out, just relax, okay? Hey, a lot of polar bears when it comes to relaxing. Boy. I was born the wrong thing. Okay. I got a question. Uh, before go ahead, if you say uh, calm down, is similar to say take it easy or is it different? Uh, yeah, yeah. So if you tell somebody to calm down, okay. However, though, here's here's the thing. Now, when somebody is going, you know, when they're getting really upset, so forth, okay, and you say like calm down. Okay, like usually calm down. I don't, I don't know how to put it. So like calm down is more of like an order. Okay, take it easy is usually so. So usually like when you say calm down, you say hey calm down, just just calm down. Okay, when you say take it easy, it's more like almost like a suggestion like hey just take it easy, Jack. Just relax, just relax. You can also say calm down like that. Hey, just calm down. But usually calm down, I don't know how to explain it, but calm down is almost like an order with the way that you're saying it. As far as take it easy, it's just, you know, yeah, it's an order, but it's also kind of more like a suggestion, more like a friendly thing. Okay? 
that makes sense, Victor? Okay, yeah, thanks. Yes. Very handy. Well, yeah, that's very a very handy. Yeah, and it's a very slight nuance, very slight, but calm down is like when you're telling, like you'll tell a kid, a little kid running around jacked up on sugar, you know, like a hyper kid. Okay, okay. yes. Okay. You're, you're not going to tell, oops, yeah, you're not going to tell this kid, um, hey, take it easy. You're going to tell him, hey, calm down, okay, calm down, that's what you're going to say to him. Your friend that might be upset, you're going to say, oh, just take it easy, it's okay, you know. You uh you lost you lost at the poker table, but you'll win again. Okay. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> so okay. Here, we, here we go. So go go ahead, Juan. Okay. okay. Uh, tell, a, tell a white light. A white light. Say something that is in true in order not to hurt or to offend someone. The kid that Susan made tasted terrible, but I knew. That she made it because she wanted to please me. So when she asked if I like it, I told a white lie and said it was good. Okay. Juan, you never tell white lies, do you? Never. never. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, that was a white lie right there. No, actually, that's not a white lie. It's a regular one. So, yes, yeah, so white lie. So a white lie, we say that, they're, that they don't harm anybody. Okay, all right, and let me let me explain. I, I think you guys know, but let me explain. So a white lie is just something that you tell somebody so as to not, you know, hurt hurt their feelings. Sometimes to not get in an argument, just different things like that. I'm not saying that it's good that you lie, all right, but these are white lies. You know, they say a white lie doesn't harm anybody. It's okay to tell a little white lie, all right. Okay. Do you ever tell that's a little wife? Go ahead. That's a cartoon with, with my, my wife. My wife. Yeah. yeah. She asks me every, every, every day, day. Where do you, you play poker? poker? No, no, no. no, no. Yes, yes. Learn in English. <laughs> <laughs> does, your, does your dog vouch for you? You know? <laughs> well, the best thing, though, the best thing is when a woman goes to get their hair cut and they always ask you the same thing Oh, do you like my new hairstyle? And, and sometimes it's okay, but most of the time it isn't. And you always have to tell them, oh, honey, that looks beautiful. You know? I, so you know what it's like, right, Victor? It's like, how do you it's like your hair? Yeah, it's a, a classic, classic one. one. Yeah, it's like, I don't, even, I don't even know why they ask, uh, why they ask us anymore. Because they know we're going to lie to them, you know? But that, that's okay, just so they feel good. And we, we have our own stupid things as being men, too, so... Okay, so let's um, let's go on to the next one. How about how about you, young Caesar? Do you ever lie? Do you ever tell a white lie? Do you know what a white lie yeah. is, young Caesar? Yeah, I think I did. Mm -hmm. So, do you ever tell little white lies, Caesar? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. All right. You're human then, so that's good. So, young Caesar. Go ahead, read this. Toss something. Toss, Toss something. something. Throw something Toss away. Something. Put something in the trash. These shoes are worn so out. Well. I guess I'll have to I toss them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Hey, Brett. So, yes. I'm hearing these echoes. Hmm. Let me see here. Yeah, you know what? Do one thing here. Yeah, you know, this thing. Mm, nope, it's not going to do it either. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, the, the headset won't get back into the system. So, how about now? Is that better? Oh, young Caesar, are you using a headset? Yeah. Okay, make sure you close the verbling window, okay? Do you have the verbling oh, no, it's window? Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so wow, you must have been being tortured this whole time. 
So yeah, if you close the verbling window, you won't hear uh, you won't hear an echo. You won't hear double voices. Okay. So uh -huh. wow, that must have been terrible for you. Yeah, some people don't realize that when they when they first start using uh, when they first start using verbling. Okay, so good, good. So toss something. Yeah, it's just to throw something out. You know. So you know, toss something in the garbage. You know, get rid of it. Uh, young Caesar, read the next one here. This one's a small one, so go ahead. Tough, difficult. Question number three is a tough one. Do you know the answer? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Good. All right. So let's continue mm -hmm. on here. So Victor, the next one. And these two words are together on purpose. Okay. Okay. There. There. Expression of comfort. There. There. Everything's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so there, there. You, you usually hear it from like your parents and stuff. Your parents would say that, you know. Hey, there, there, Victor. Don't worry about it. You know, she'll she'll come back to you. Okay, you know, it's just like for comfort. You know, there, there. Don't don't worry about it. Okay, uh, Victor, read the next one. Okay, it says tight, fisted, very frugal, unwilling to spend money unnecessary. Do you think Shelly will donate any money to the ITB's fund? No way. He's too tight-fisted. Mm -hmm. Yep. So tight-fisted. So fist. This is a fist. Okay. So that's your fist. So when you're tight-fisted, okay, what happens is you just you won't give money up because you have in your hand you're squeezing it. Okay. All right. If you are a greedy boy. If you're a greedy boy, yep. Mm -hmm. But remember, there's a really good expression. You can't get anything from a clenched fist. Okay? So a clenched fist. Same as that, right? So a clenched fist. You Remember, you can't get anything from a clenched fist. Because nobody can put anything in your hand. Anyway, it's just a stupid expression. It's the truth, though. Okay, at least in my mind. Okay, Juan. Juan, the next one, a tight wad. A tight wad? Uh, someone he, who is very frugal and, and unwilling to spend money unnecessarily. Uh, will Char Char Charlie donate any money to the activities fund? Absolutely not. It's a real tight wad. Mm -hmm. So tight wad, yep, tight wad. So it's the same thing here as, you know, having clenched fist. Okay, all right. And some people, I'm just telling you, if you get into a business environment, some people will use tight. They'll say um, T I G H T A, and then X X. I'm not going to fill in what that is, okay? But you might hear that. You might read it in a story, okay? All right. Uh, can you read the next one here, Juan? Tr tricky. Is it confused or misunderstood? This problem is tricky. I don't really understand it. Mm -hmm. Yep, so tricky. Sometimes people are tricky, and it just comes from trick. Okay? You know? So they're tricky. Mm -hmm. Tricky. So you have to watch out for them. They might be doing, uh, doing bad things to you. Okay? All right? Tricky people are kind of funny, too, though. El Sadiq. Hi, El Sadiq. Hello, El Sadiq. Hello, teacher. Hey. Yeah, El Sadiq. Uh, Hello. Make sure Hi. Hi. We can hear you, El Sadiq. So, hey, El Sadiq, welcome to another class. Um, make sure that you look in the chat. I gave you a link. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Can you hear us? Uh, yeah. Okay. You can't hear us? Okay. Hello. So it's okay. Okay, I'm going to type. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Yes, we're here. Can you hear us? Okay, so I guess yeah, you can. Yeah, I hear Hi. you, teacher. Okay, so no problem, El Sadi. Okay? So what I'm saying yeah, is yeah. In, the, in the chat, in the chat, read what's in the chat, okay? Read what's in the chat. So, um, because that'll help you out with your connection. El Sadiq, 
Can now you read what's on my screen where it says two faced? Two faced. Uh, teacher, my my connect uh, or my internet is so very low. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so it's okay. So for now, why don't you listen? It's okay, El Sadiq. But El Sadiq, do you see the verbling chat? Yeah, I'm seeing the verbling chat. I'm trying to use the link, but it is not to work with me. Okay, so it'll take some time. Okay, just breathe, El Sadiq. Okay, just relax. It's no problem. All right. Okay. Um, and see if you can get to these idioms, okay? We're going to continue on. Let's see if, if you can um, participate next time we get to you, okay? Okay. okay I'll see. Uh, young Caesar. Which uh, yeah, we're on two-faced. We're going we're gonna to go to a new one, though, so just sit tight, okay? Just relax. It's okay. We'll get to another okay, one, okay? okay? All right. Okay. So good, good, good. Uh, young case. Caesar. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. What what was that, Victor? Take it, Take easy. it easy. Yeah. <laughs> Take it easy. Good, good, good. Um, yeah, and that would be a take it easy. But you know when some of the students come on and they're like everything's freaking out, that's a calm down, right? <laughs> calm down. <laughs> anyway, sometimes I think I'm a little too tough on them, but anyway, it's okay. Young Caesar, two faced. Two faced. Deceitful, disloyal, someone who pretends to be a friend but isn't. I thought he was my friend, but he he's uh, two-faced. He says nice things to me when we are together, but makes jokes about me when we aren't. Yep. So two-faced, like this guy here, he's being friendly to this guy, but actually this is how he feels, okay? All right? So it's similar to the uh, backstabber, right? Backstabber, mm -hmm. yep. So backstabber. Okay. There you go. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was going to show that one. <laughs> 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 All Don't get it around, around yet. yet. <laughs> that was it. Was pretty funny though. You know, it's a funny, funny type of uh, backstabber. Okay. Oh yeah. Wow. This is great. This is one of my favorite expressions here coming up. So, um, so yeah. Here, El Sadig. Okay. Try to try to catch up. Okay. All right. It's all right. Oh, or El Sadig. I guess he's just gone. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah. Next one here, Victor. Under the weather. El Sadig. There was, was feeling under, under the weather, weather yesterday. yesterday, so he so decided to not, not want to go to work. Yeah, so this expression here, just, you know, weather, you know, right, you know, sunshine, rain, blah, 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 blah. But anyway, under the weather just means you don't feel sick. Or, pardon me, you do feel sick. You don't feel good. You don't feel like, um, feel like doing something, okay? Hey, Juan, you, you get to read one of my favorite ones. The next one until hell freezes over. Mm, I I think it's related to me. No, 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 no. It's, it's not. It's not like that at all. It's, it's just coincidence. Go ahead. Until the, uh, the, the hell freezes, freezes over, over forever. forever. <coughs> it it can press the, the, the piano until, until it freezes over. over. But he'll, he'll never, never play, play well because, because he's, he's on death. On death. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so tone deaf is just where you can't understand. You can't understand the pitch, right? So somebody's trying to play a piano. And they're tone I don't know why these guys put one that's so funny, but it's hilarious. So yeah, if somebody's tone deaf, they can't understand pitch, right? They can't understand the keys, okay? They can't, they can't understand the notes. My so case, we sing this. So music notes. No, no. I am on death with English. 
<laughs> but no, so they, so they don't know the difference in the notes. <laughs> so, so can you imagine a kid continue to practice? But, uh, but yeah, until all freezes over. Okay. So um, yeah. So also too, this is a great expression. So so Juan, you can answer my question. Hey Juan, when are you going to stop playing poker? How long? How long? No. When will you stop playing poker? Ah, uh, when, when, I, when, I, when I, I lose. No, 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 no. You can say not until hell freezes. Until over. hell freezes <laughs> over. Okay. <laughs> You can you can share this one with your wife, okay? It's what she'll really like, okay? Very appropriate. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, this one's a. I'm sorry, guys, but this this one here, if you knew, if I, you know, tone deaf now. I just I just think it's hilarious, you know. <laughs> just some kid trying in the piano. Um, anyway, hey, Elsa Dig. Okay. All right, so young Caesar, here's here's another one too. Uh, go ahead, young Caesar, read this one until you're blue in the face. Until you're blue in the face, forever. You can talk until you're blue in the face, but I won't change my mind. Yep. Yep. So like blue in the face, like to hold your breath. Okay. So you're blue in the face. Um, you know. So don't hold your breath. You can do it till you're blue in the face, all right? So, yeah, same thing as until hell freezes over, all right? So here we go. Okay, so uh, Victor, next one here. Update. Make, make, make current information to show what's happening. I need to update my machine. It doesn't show what I done during the last year. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't. Yeah, I don't even know what this is doing in here as an idiom. But um, anyway, all right. Um, yeah. So that's just kind of crazy how it's in there. Uh, Taya, hi Taya. Hello, Taya. Hmm. Okay. So, all right. So let's continue on here. So, uh, so Juan, upside down. Upside, upside down. down. With, the, with the bottom with the part, of the, part of, the top, of the top, and the top part of the bottom. bottom. Put the glasses, Put the glasses upside, down upside down in this washer. washer. If you don't, don't do, that, do that, I can hear can kind of echo. echo. Mm. They, they, they feel what you have to try then by hand. Okay. Yeah, but also upside down. So this isn't that good of an expression in here, or it's not not put properly. So when you're, you can say my whole world was turned upside down. Okay. So if something bad happens, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. So so yeah, go figure. My six word love story, my whole world turned upside down. <laughs> go figure the the love story. Is similar. Similar. Very similar. Boca abajo. Mm. Something is Boca abajo is, is wrong. wrong. Mm. Is is that boca like mouth at all or is it something different? Boca abajo. Sí. Okay. And that's just when, you, when your whole world is turned upside down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know what, some of this, some of this in here, I don't know what this guy's doing in here. In this, uh... Yeah, let's go to this next one here, okay? All right. So um, yeah. Hi, Taya. Hi, Taya. Yes, yes. Hi. How are you, Taya? Fine. Yeah, Taya. Can you can you turn up your volume on your microphone? Because it's a little hard to hear you. Yes. Is that okay? Yeah. Uh, can you turn up a little better? Just a little bit more, or a little more? It's a little better, but just a little more, please. 
Now it's worse. <laughs> nope. Add more volume. Make it louder. It's okay. Yeah, let's just leave it like that for now. It's all right. So, Taya, can you can you read this on the screen? Where out one's welcome. What out ones will make someone uncomfortable by too long? Can't you stay for three more days? No, I don't. I don't want to. Wear out my welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So when you have visitors and they stay too long, you know, they wear out your wear out their welcome. Also, uh, you know, sometimes even if they just stay too long during the day or during the evening, you know, they kind of wear out their welcome. Okay, and uh, and this this isn't like uh, the first time that you meet somebody. I mean, the first time you meet somebody, it can happen like that as well. But um, but this just could be any time to wear out their welcome. So. So what is it? Um, so the teacher, the teacher, there is a, there is a, there is a saying, saying constant, constant guest, guest never welcome, never welcome or something or like that. Uh, so no, what happens is is they're um, when they're there too long. So if if, if somebody comes over and they're going to stay for you know just like maybe a day or two days, that's okay. But sometimes when a person stays at your house for like a week, you know, they kind of wear out their welcome, right? You know, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know. It depends. It depends on your friends as well, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. so, you say constant, say constant, 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 constant. Uh, say that again. The constant, the constant or constantly? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So if they're constantly coming over, sometimes they can wear out their welcome. Yep. That's another thing too. Okay. okay. There, there's a good expression. It's not on here. But leftovers, do you guys know what leftovers are? So when you have food, okay, so you make a meal and then you have food, it's called leftovers. And then you have leftovers and you put it in your refrigerator and then you heat up your leftovers, okay? There's an expression, um, guests, like people that stay over, guests are like leftovers. Oh. <laughs> they are only good for about three days, okay? <laughs> so that's a, that's a really cute one. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, uh, I was like that one. Um, okay, wet behind the ears, okay? Wet behind the ears. Um, yeah, how come everybody keeps coming in so late? I can never understand this. It's really weird. Um, young Caesar, the next one, wet behind yeah. the ears. Wet behind the ears. Inexperienced and naive. Naive, naive. Okay, that one's hard. Don't worry. Naive. Okay? Naive. Naive. Yeah, go ahead your question. Yep. Uh, some say naive and some say naive. Um, okay, so no problem. So what you do here when you have a question about uh, things like that, okay, you can just always go and look at the phonetic spelling, all right? Okay, so naive, okay, naive, or not, yeah, naive, naive, okay? Uh, how, do how do the British... See. Oh, who cares about them? <laughs> I'm just kidding, just kidding. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how the not. I think I, I actually I don't know. I would just be lying to you. I tell you a little white lie if I try telling you what it is. Okay. Yeah, I, I I think it comes from, from friends, friends, right? Right. Comes from what? Friends. Friends. So from friends. What? Yes. Oh, French, yes. French, French, French. Yeah, French. Naive looks like here. Yep. So French naive. So I don't know. I don't know if they say naive. You know. So I don't really know. All right. 
So, but yeah, but and also too, you can always look in here like things that confuse people. You know, you can say neither or neither. Okay. So, so what is what is that? Okay. So hey, hey everybody in the chat. Actually, um, class is class is over. Everybody, thanks for everybody that's showing up a little later. Hey Juan, that was awesome. It's good. Uh, it's good to see you again, Juan. It's been like it's been like a month. You know. <laughs> Something like that. So I'm glad uh, I'm glad you're still alive and kicking. So good, very good, very good. seriously, very good to, to to see you. Very good to hear from you. you good know? to see you again. Good to see you, Victor. Always a pleasure. Okay, so good. Uh, Taya, get, just turn turn it turn it up a little bit. Mohammed, you want to come to class about 56 minutes earlier than what you did. Okay, all right. Okay, and young Caesar, very nice to have you in class. Okay, very nice. I'm glad.